And Minnesota has one of the longest ballots in about 50 years as voters will be filing not only local and state seats, filling local and state seats, I should say, but also who will represent the state in Washington, D.C. And the DFL isn't taking the midterms lightly. They were traveling all over the state this weekend, getting their final message out to supporters. In Bemidji, the DFL bus brought out all, all their heavy hitters, including candidate for Governor Tim Walls, candidate for Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, U.S. House also Representative candidate Joe Radinovich, and many others. We've got about 75 hours and a blank pallet to win this election and create the Minnesota we want. That means lifting up our teachers and making sure every child, black, white, brown, indigenous, gets a quality education. That's what we can do. That's what this means. You're not voting for candidates. You're voting for the future, where every single person in this state and the first state to do it has access to quality, affordable health care. That's what we do in this state. The DFL candidates say they will keep holding rallies all across the state up until the night of Election Day. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.